Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, Chris P44S. And today I'm playing this game called Myriad. Um, it's an action adventure roguelike permadeath. Uh, big emphasis on action and stuff. And now this game is like this is a demo. Um, and there's not a ton of stuff here. So this is just kind of like a video where I'm going to show this game and, and just ask people like where do you think this game should go or what do you think they could do to to make this game better or make it something that you want to play um, cuz right now like it's got some bones but you know that's that's what it has and it's like i, I don't know where do you where do you go with it i mean or, or what kind of things do you implement to make it a little bit deeper, make it a little bit rich, more rich? Um, but basically, like I said, it's an action. It's kind of like an action. Um, it's a, it's an. I, I want to say it's like a kind of souls like. I feel like is what they're trying to go for with the with the um, combat and stuff. But it's like I said, it's very very bare very bare bones right now so basically when you start up a game the I think one of the things is like that they want to focus is that you can play as a new character every time so here's some and the whole thing is like randomly uh, generated so all the characters are random all the dungeons are random like whatever um, weapons and enemies you find and their placement is going to be random so we have Ralph Craddock, Harvey Onion, Brian Kisner. And at first like I thought like these characters were going to kind of be a little bit different, like like this looks like a full-on knight. You know, this looks like I don't a, a knight but a different kind or something. Maybe this is like a ranger, I don't know. Maybe this is like a royal guard, I don't know. But basically you click on them and they have all these stats. And so I'm assuming 51 is their level um and like attribute points accumulate accumulated total uh so this this character does have a lot of bleed damage um the thing that i think has to happen though is you need a weapon that can cause bleed so similar to if you have poison or fire you need a weapon that can cause fire or poison um not sure what like all this like technology and utility mean follower max level you do have like a um, a, a, a follower a companion a little like mini person that does like uh, range damage and I don't think they can die um, but the interesting thing is if you just go back from here it just sets you up with all new characters so this must be this must be a special character because I've never seen a character that has um, words underneath so this is Kazina um, Clark, the Shadow Stalker. I'm probably gonna play as this character because I've never seen it. So health ninety four, poison twenty three, technology utility. So has a little bit of everything. If we can find something that causes poison, this character is gonna be really good. So we'll just we'll just run it. Um, oh, and I unlocked the goblin. Apparently. Um. But you start with these three, and it doesn't tell you how you unlock them. But I'm going to go with the Druid. Only because the Druid does poison, and I have a character for poison right now. So we're just going to play. And then this is just going to, it basically just dumps you into like a dungeon. Um, and, and it gives you a rundown on the controls. So move W A S D. You can and you can um, attack using left mouse. The attacks I thought like were really cool. Uh, space and control controls a roll. Space is the check player tab. Sprint is shift. And I'm pretty sure that's it. So there's my follower right here, and this is my character. I really like the polearm stance. I think the polearms are really really good. Uh, but yeah, basically it just dumps you into this dungeon and you just go room by room and you're searching for the boss, basically. Um, 
and I've only seen one boss so far. <clears throat> and what happens is, yeah, these enemies just pop up basically once you complete a room. And then, usually, sometimes there's a chest. Yeah, so here's the chest. And so far, all I've ever seen is weapons. So, like, I can look at this weapon by... Or, no, if I hit F, it inspects my weapon. And if I hit F again, it goes back. I think. Yes. So, my weapon is called the Divine. So, my weapon is a little bit stronger. Um, and then you just, you just, like I said, you just go room by room. I have seen this room. It's a little weird because they have these, like, traps. But nothing happens, like, if you walk on them. I don't know if I can, like, bait this guy over here and if he'll get hurt. He seems to be a caster. So he might not want to come near me. Let's knock him out. But it is, like I said, like I said, it's just a very bare... I wonder if I can get up here. It doesn't look like the door is actually open, though. So I kind of think not. Yeah, but so far, like, all I've ever seen is weapons. Um, I don't think I... I mean, I'll take it, just because it's different. But is it... Yeah, it's basically a giant shovel. All I found is weapons so far. So, like, I thought it would be really cool if, um... You know, maybe you started with a character that's, like, level one. And then you find all the armor and gear in the dungeon to like equip like if you just kind of like start as like a dude with a club this dude has like some kind of ninjutsu moves apparently I found that a lot of like the enemies sometimes they'll kind of like bug out and uh, just disappear or like launch really far over in the air or something uh, roaring blondes reaver so that's just kind of like a, an axe some kind of axe yeah, so far it's like just pole arms, mm, axes, like one handed axes, one handed uh, swords, and then like great swords is all I've found as far as weapons. But like I was saying, it'd be nice to like, to find, to have like your character start off at level one and like go up levels, like have a skill tree, you know, and, um, you know, maybe have like passive and active skills or something. Like, cause I, like, right now, the right click literally does nothing. And so it's like, and in the video on Steam and stuff, like, you see the character, like, flipping around and doing all this crazy nonsense. Oh, so this goes back where we were. Poison damage minus six? Yuck. Um, I'm gonna take it, though. Just cause it's a little bit better than mine. And I don't even have anything. Oops. I was just trying to look in this and then it closed. I don't even have anything that does poison. Oh, that's a legendary item right there. But I think, like, the game does get, like, bugged out quite a bit. Is that another legendary? This is the rising tide. Oh, okay. You also do just, um, regen health points. Oh, so the thing, where would it go? That weapon just like b glitched out and it was somewhere else. So maybe we'll just take this thing. The horned bayonet, 38 points. I wanna see this one again. See, like I think it just fell to the floor, I think is what happened. I'm about to sneeze. I'm about to sneeze. <clears throat> But yeah, it'd be cool if you just start at level 1, find gear, like, level up. Uh, you know, like, do stuff like that. I haven't been in this room either. The kind of nice thing in this game, though, too, is, like, rooms you've been in, they'll have, uh, I wish there was a map. Rooms you've been in, sometimes you can, like, look into the center of the room, and you can see, like, the green check mark. So I haven't been over here. I just kind of want to uncover everything and go through. 
Oh, so this is like a two part. Yeah, I like the pole arms too because I feel like they're uh, a little bit faster. I don't think there's any iframes either when when you roll. I think you just kind of roll. I want to regen my health a little bit before I go any further. But yeah, it'd be nice too to uncover a map. I don't know. Like I feel like a game like this, it's so it's so early. I mean, I feel like a community could really dictate what kind of things to see in a game like this. I mean, I definitely don't mind like the graphic, like the visual like choice they've made here. Uh, th definitely the sound effects could be a lot better, like hitting somebody. That could be like f like rep like flesh ripping or like hitting this character with bones, you know what I mean? Could be you know, sound a lot more uh, genuine, I guess, instead of just this air whipping. But I definitely don't mind it. I would like to see a game like this, like w with th these these visual choices and stuff, with um, where just basically like a quest game, where like you kind of like it's a mercenary, like you're a mercenary, and then you just like get quests and do do stuff. And I mean, obviously, like there's an overarching story or something, but you kind of just like, you know, you're kind of like a mercenary that works at like a, for like a guild, like a mercenaries guild, and you just take quests. I think that'd be really sweet. You know, but and not have it be like um, an MMO, just have it be, you know, maybe have some co-op, because every game is just better with co-op. Well, there's a lot of enemies here. But I don't know, like, I definitely wanted to, I was, like, playing, I just saw this demo, and I was like, oh, this looks kind of neat. Oh, so here's the boss room right here with the crystal. So I'm not going to walk in there. I'm just going to keep exploring. Because I do kind of want to find a, a poison item for this for this guy. See, but I think that had something, like, a chance to ignite or something. I also love, like, some of the guys are like, yeah, look at him, like, Naruto run at you. It's kind of kind of funny. Alright. Something else shooting at me? Oh, so I, that's what I was wondering. If these traps would, like, hurt this person. But they don't seem to. This, this female goblin. Yeah, but there's no, like, items. Like, there's no nothing, you know? I, it makes me wonder, like, what they want to add to the game. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm going to have to just hang out for, like, a bit. So this is a spear. Mercy, crit chance, or crit damage, plus 20, 38%. Can inflict burn. So I definitely want this. Oh, and this is like kind of like a small. This is like a fire poker. Yeah, that's the room I came in, but that's also the room with the um, very rare Ragnarok. I love how like every I don't know. So many games have like an item that's <laughs> like named Ragnarok or have something to do with Ragnarok. Stupid door. See, this does so much damage. Like, so it just does so much more damage. Like, the DPS is so much higher. Oh, this was um. This was the weapon that fell to the floor. So I think we went through kind of most of the rooms. This is the room we started in, I believe. Here's a chest we can open. I think the um, the one is over there. The boss. So let's just head to the boss. Cause I think I did a couple of dungeons already, and they're mostly like this size. 
But yeah, I'm definitely interested to hear like what if you had a game like this and this was as far as it was, where would you want to go with it? Because technically, I think at this point too, you don't even have to like go with the dungeon crawler. Like obviously, like it's set up to go like room by room, dungeon crawler. Uh, but you could probably do different things with it, like have different NPCs and and things like that. Let's just let's just head to the boss. Yeah, so basically you just come up here and touch this crystal. And I kind of hope it'll be a different boss, but I've seen the same boss twice in a row. Kind of thinking that's what there is, based on what we have here. Yeah, it's the same one. It's just this ancient princess. She's actually pretty badass, and she can definitely like kill you if you let her. Yeah, like, you know what the other thing, too? Like, there's not even a block in this. We got like a big hit. We got a crit in there. It's like 177 or 137. This 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 weapon is really good. It's the pole arms. Like the pole arms are just so much better. Boom. So that was it. That's the game. That's the demo. That's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. So that's Myriad, and uh, I, like I said, I think you can do some really cool stuff with a game like this. Uh, you just, you know what I mean? You just gotta do it. I don't know if anybody is interested to play or... I just want to hear, like, if you had a game with these bones, like, what would you do with it? You know, but it's definitely neat and it definitely has a good structure, so... Kind of interested. I might wish list it, wish, wish list it and uh, just see what happens, you know? But yeah, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Let me know. Let me know, though. Let me know what you think.